This week on Sailing Catalpa, Dad and I make a bunk bed. Dad is my apprentice and we're going to make a bunk bed. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to help Bella today do a bed that she thinks she's going to want to move into. But it's actually going to be for our friend that's coming to stay with us. So uh, we don't have much storage on Catalpa, it's very limited. We've got a massive amount of storage under here, but because our fuel tanks were leaking I actually put two bladders in either side so we lost all that storage. Um, so what I'm going to do is going to probably look something like, put that up there, I'll utilise the same cushion and maybe just make it something to hold that up there. This so we've got all this room for when someone comes to stay up here, they've got their suitcase and whatnot, surfboard underneath, whatever. Actually, this is going to be my bed and I'm going to have my storage under here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks like Daddy didn't know that. This is over here. We're going to move some of these electronic things. Got our inverter and solar regulator. And just got to move them down here. Battery charger. Hopefully I can just drop them down a bit. It's just this one, right? We're just about to cut the wood to make the top bunk bed. Thank you. Let's go. I fall down when you're mine I get up and you're a stranger Out of sight, out of mind No warning to surrender What are we doing here? Alright, so there's our bed at the moment. So I've just got a little rough template there to copy off. Just give or take a 10 mil or so we've got to change, but I've got a bit of a template to work with, something different for a change. So we'll cut all them out make our frame up first and uh, we'll go from there. Cutting So I'll fasten those two downstairs and then I can put that on and trim it up so it's a perfect fit. I can do that after. Top. That'll fit in there. After a lot of checking back and forth, Dad got the frame sorted. Alright, halfway, halfway mark. Oh, we're getting there. I've got Indo screws, but they just one in every five snap. I've got Aussie ones and they just about break your wrist. There's not a lot of quality in the screws over here. Look how clever he is. He just says he's whip, whip up a bunk bed, and he has. I help. I mean, Bella whipped up the bunk bed. I've been doing that for three hours straight. I'm just kidding. You deserve to rest. I've cut the platform. Now I've just put it on and just drilling it down. You're under a bit of pressure with the camera there, Bella. I can't do it. <laughs> She's doing really good until I pulled the camera out, guys. She's warmed up again. You can do the rest, Dad. This guy is just so clever. I'm using up all the scraps. We have a couple of these that come out of the V-Birth. I might just put that on there so my mate doesn't roll out. And uh, 
another one I've cut and put them down that end. I'm just missing a little bit in the middle. I don't know what I'll do there yet. Yeah, maybe in the middle. A bit like you're cooking, I'll just start and then I'll just figure it out. Is that a compliment or not? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I think it looks fantastic. If with a gap in the middle, it'll be fine. I'll do that and then I'll see what I can do. But the old apprentice here has got side trays. Yeah, she's given up. Looks comfy, Bill. I think he's completed. I only have bits and pieces to work with, but I've got to give a little coat of varnish. Varnish. Two vats now, storage for now, and we can throw another mattress under there. You're amazing, honey. Uh, suitcases and surfboards and stuff. And our guests come do the job. They're incredible. It's dark, it's late. I'm going to go and have a meager ring. You just did a really good job, honey. And oh, me. Doesn't look and you. You're always sitting in this spot when you film. <laughs> You're always sitting no, there doing problem. nothing. Do you want to try it out, though? And I am editing a video, so this will kind of give you guys where I'm up to. This is Labi and Bajo. Episode 105. We went to the wedding, so I've been doing that all day. Oh well, I'm a lot more productive. <laughs> comfy? This is going to be my There we have it. Just need to put a mattress on there. And we've got another bunk bed. Plenty of storage. We'll put this mattress up on top. Ready to roll. Hit the men eyes. Good job, babe. Looks awesome. One to tick off the list. A few more jobs and we're ready to roll. These should be ready Monday. We'll make our way up to Jakarta to pick up our friend. Alright, so friends. this is before. Before, after. Uh, we're in Lavina, and Lavina is known for their dolphins. And um, we're up early, and we're gonna follow all the tourist boats out to where the dolphins are. Even highways sound like ocean. If you're far enough away. And it's all just smoke and illusion. Every morning between 6 and 8 a.m., a lot of local boats full of tourists head out to see the dolphins. So before we leave, we thought we'd go and check it out. We got out to where all the boats were, and it was pretty much a group of boats chasing pods of dolphins. Wherever the dolphins would pop up, one boat would see it and the rest would follow. It surprises me that the dolphins still continue to swim past here knowing that every morning they are going to get harassed, but they mustn't seem to mind. We didn't hang around here. We saw a couple of dolphins, but we definitely see more riding the vow of Catalpa. Before our next passage, I got in to clean Catalpa's bum and to have a swim with my little fish friend, Stripes, who had been with us since Ahmed. All right, so it's our last day here in Lavina, or our last day in Bali, actually. So we're gonna be heading off tomorrow, or this afternoon, probably tomorrow. And uh, we gotta to go to Immigracy now and pick up our passports, because we got our visa extension done, and we've hired a car, and we're gonna go chasing waterfalls. So we just went into Immigracy to pick up our passports because they said they'd be ready today, but uh, Big Boss hasn't signed them. So they're not, they're not ready until tomorrow. So we're here for another day. It's all right, go do waterfalls. Not supposed to leave yet. So you don't argue with the universe, right? Go with the flow, mates. These videos are made possible by our patrons. Thank you all so very much. Thanks to y'all
So join us up next on Sailing Catalpa when we visit the most beautiful waterfalls in Bali. We leave Bali and head to Jakarta. And while on passage, we celebrate Bella turning 12. Remember guys, if you like that video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to see more.